What's good y'all, this is Tizzler, and today I want to talk to y'all about my Rainbow Six Siege addiction that has recently manifested in 2018. So for you guys that don't know, I'm a huge first person shooter fan. It's probably my favorite genre. Back when I owned an Xbox 360, two of my most played games were Halo 3 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. With the newest console generation, I made the switch to PlayStation 4 as their pitch and games lineup seemed a whole lot more appealing to me than the Xbox One. At $399. But of course, Halo is an Xbox exclusive, so I wouldn't be able to play that anymore, and Call of Duty has been on a serious decline since Black Ops 2 in my opinion. So I was left a little empty as far as first person shooters were concerned. Not long after owning my PlayStation, Destiny was released. Destiny, of course, was the creation of Bungie, the former Halo studio, and pretty much represented their future after Halo. Best believe I was down. At this point in time, I can say that Destiny started off as an empty shell of a game, but the potential I saw in the future was out of this world. <laughs> See what I did there? But bad jokes aside, Destiny 1 did end up living up to some of its potential and literally ended up being the most played game on my PS4. Not too surprising since Halo 3 was the most played game on my Xbox 360. I also played some other shooters like Overwatch, which even though I enjoyed it as it was really fun to play with friends, Destiny was always my go-to game, and the one that always pulled me back in every time DLC or an update was released. Around three years from the release of Destiny, Destiny 2 would come out. At first I was on board, Bungie made a few seeming improvements to the formula, but in time Destiny 2 would prove to be one of the biggest mistakes Bungie has made, as well as one of my biggest gaming letdowns. I did spend a lot of time playing Destiny 2, but nowhere near as much time as I put into Destiny 1. And as the game started to fall off for me, I noticed a small first person shooter void beginning to form inside my heart. Somewhere in the time where I was first starting to play Destiny 2, a couple of my friends had picked up Rainbow Six Siege in one of the PSN sales. I was familiar with the game as I had played the PS4 beta way back in the day, but the beta never really got me all the way interested. I understood the premise of the game and it just really didn't seem like the game for me. I always compared it to Search and Destroy in Call of Duty, which still probably is my least favorite game mode in that game. What I wasn't really aware of was just how much the game had changed since that beta that I played, and how much Ubisoft had listened to its fan base and eventually improved the game to the point that it's at today. My friends kept telling me I should get this game next time it was on sale, and eventually, after seeing them playing together and talking about how much fun it was, I caved in and bought it. Unsurprisingly, my first couple play sessions, I was absolutely atrocious. Like I was bad and I didn't think I'd ever get better and dying was not all that fun to me. It wasn't really until I got my first couple kills and saw those little red X's pop up on my aiming reticle that I really started to get those oh so great dopamine hits. It only started off with maybe one or two kills in a match, but that was really all it took to get me to realize, okay, maybe I can get better at this game. Once I realized that, I started watching other people play the game more and I started playing solo matches when my friends weren't online to try and learn some of the more intricacies of gameplay. I finally understood and saw that this game was much more than what I originally thought it was from playing that beta years ago. This game is deep and satisfying. Before I knew it, I'd become engrossed in the idea of trying to get better. There's so many things to learn about playing this game, so many mechanics to master other than just shooting. It also helps that the shooting is extremely satisfying. The guns feel weighty and controlling recoil to get that instant kill headshot really does feel satisfying. The one hit kill headshot mechanic in this game really serves to make sure that every player in every gunfight has an equal opportunity to come out on top. If a player sees and happens to shoot you first but your reflexes and aim are just a little bit better, you may have just enough time to accurately move and hit the headshot to come out on top. That feeling of directly outplaying your opponent is second to none and is crucial to how fun a competitive first person shooter can be. There was also a point in time where I thought I liked the stylized, colorful appearances of Overwatch characters more than the, at first glance, bland, muted appearance of the Siege operators. My thoughts on this changed the more I played Siege as well. To this day, I find it interesting and impressive the way the developers are able to come up with unique playstyles for each character in each situation while still figuring out how to keep within the realm of realism. Basically, it's easier to be creative when there are less constraints. The challenge with designing Siege characters comes from the need to make them all different while still having their abilities remain believable. 
Right now, the devs have made it very clear that Rainbow Six Siege is meant to be a platform that they will support for a long time into the future, with plans to create as many as 100 unique operators by the time it's all said and done. I think the idea of an evolving platform that I can continue to invest in wins out for me over the idea of continually investing into a game only for a sequel to release a few years later. For the time being, Rainbow Six Siege is my favorite console first person shooter, and it has surpassed my original expectations in so many ways. I definitely can't wait to see what Destiny 3 will be like, but as of right now, if Siege continues to grow and expand and listen to its community, I believe it'll be a game I continue to play and one that I will constantly come back to and try to improve in.